Hey guys, it's Lisa, and welcome to my channel. I know that I posted yesterday, but as promised, I'm going to add these little uh, small videos in for Christmas tree ornaments uh, and different Christmas uh, decorations. So, uh, I started with these little plastic candy canes. I ordered these from Walmart, and um, and they don't have them in the store yet, but I just uh, went online and ordered them. And uh, now I'm using the fabric Warm and Natural, and I've cut this in pretty narrow strips um, because I'm going to be covering these candy canes, and because they're small, um, they're going to wrap a lot smoother if I um, if I start with a narrow strip. And I've coffee stained this Warm and Natural, and if you haven't used this before, um, I get mine at um, Walmart. So, uh, you can find it in the quilt batting section in the craft area, and, um, and it comes in a bag, but it's called Warm and Natural. And I like to use this. You could use a, a number of different fabrics. You could use tea towel, or, um, or you could use a um, drop cloth, uh, but I just like how this particular fabric wraps. Um, I think it, it adds some thickness, uh, but it wraps really smooth, and I just like the look of it. And uh, But it comes white, and I am, um, or I have, uh, coffee stained mine. So I just dip it in some coffee and take it straight out, uh, and then let that dry, and I get plenty of, um, of the, um, distress color that I want. So I know some people like to soak it a while, but I don't want mine really dark. I just want it to look aged. And this particular one is uh, going to be a more primitive uh, ornament. So I'm just wrapping this to the very end and making sure to cover that end. So I just put some glue there. I wrap it a little bit further and then put some glue on the bottom and pinch it closed because I don't like to see that candy cane showing. And um, I kind of start wrapping. I, I didn't tell you as I was wrapping the first one, but when I start wrapping it, I start out that way too. I just kind of glue on the end and make sure that I get the end covered, and then I start wrapping it around. Um, that's just the easiest way for me to make sure that I cover that end well. And you want to wrap these pretty snug. You don't have to go too tight, but you want them to be pretty snug so that you get more of a smooth look. So I just wrap both of these. Uh, and I don't even worry with adding glue as I go, as long as you have glue, that you start out with glue on each, on one end, and then you end with glue on the other. Uh, I find that these hold really well. You don't have to add extra glue as you wrap. And I'm not speeding this up because I want you to see how quick and easy they come together. Um, and in minutes, you can have these made, I think. And so this is another one that you can just um, sit down for an hour or so and make several. So, um, and with these, you need several. Uh, because it's going to take two of these to make one ornament. Uh, you can definitely just uh, let these be single candy canes and just hang on the tree uh, as a single cane, candy cane. Uh, but I want mine to be more substantial uh, because, you know, you can only get maybe a dollar for uh, one of these just wrapped. So I want to make it substantial so that I can at least get a few bucks out of it. So once I get the warm and natural wrapped for my base, uh, then I need some red fabric. And I generally like to use... Uh, fabric that is printed on both sides uh, but this fabric I thrifted and it wasn't on it wasn't printed on both sides so I'm just going to make it work because you just have to make sure that when you're wrapping your stripe uh, you keep the good side out 
And I also like to coffee stain my fabric first uh, so that it looks more primitive. And I haven't done this. So I didn't want to wait on it to dry. I could just dip it straight in coffee and, uh, and then uh, wring it out and let it dry. But I didn't want to... I didn't want to have to wait on that, so I'm just using my Distress ink here in the color Vintage Photo and just distressing it um, before I put it on there. And then I don't have to worry with this being wet and having to wait on it to dry. So I just distress the one side because the other side I'm going to make sure that that is glued uh, to the candy cane and won't be showing. And since I started using this Distress Ink, I use it on everything. And I don't know that it's intended for um, use like this, but it definitely works. So, uh, and like I said, it saves me a lot of time because I don't have to um, wait on a lot of fabric to dry. Because sometimes it, it takes a while uh, for it to dry. And I don't like to put it in my dryer because then your dryer smells like coffee. Uh, not to mention, it kind of stains the inside of your dryer. And then, as you might have guessed, then this is going to be the stripe. And uh, I just start wrapping the stripe. And I start with my, uh, st with my stripe kind of diagonal. I don't want it to be straight. So I, I start wrapping it at an angle. And again, I just need uh, a dot of glue where I start, and then uh, and then a dot of glue where I end. And uh, just be careful that when you wrap, that your uh, that your stripes are pretty evenly distributed. And like I said, make sure that they're going at an angle and just not not just straight around because that doesn't look like a candy cane. So it gets a little bit more tricky when you uh, when you wrap this um, the rounded part. Uh, so you just be careful to keep those stripes going in the same direction diagonally. And like I said, be careful to uh, make sure that the right side is out. And then that quickly you have a little candy cane. And uh, I do sell these by themselves a lot. Um, but I think I sell them better when I, I make the ornament with two. So, uh, I will make some of these by themselves because some people like to display them in a jar, uh, or something like that. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to be doing mine, uh, with the two. So I just wrapped my other can candy cane and I'm sorry, I'm out of frame here, uh, but sometimes I get involved in what I'm doing and I don't watch my table to make sure I'm in frame. Um, but uh, I just wrap the other one just like I did the first one. And then I just end there with the dot of glue and then cut uh, the excess off. Now, I also um, use the same technique with the large candy canes, and um, I think I have a video uh, where I made a door hanger with two of the large candy canes, and they turn out really well. And now I'm going to add just a little, couple little sprigs of Christmas greenery, and then uh, tie some uh, tie a bow around that and I'm just going to use a little strip of fabric and a little bit of jute and just tie a simple bow around the center. Now at this point you could add some extra embellishments but I'm just going to keep mine simple. But like I said I will be adding a hang tag to this uh, so I'm just going to make a simple hang tag and I'm going to tear um, a book page and put a stamp on it and layer that onto a piece of cardboard. And um, I'll just antique around the edges of the cardboard, but um, keep this little tag simple also. And I just have a little stamp that I thrifted of a little Christmas tree. This one came from a thrift store, so um, I'm not going to be able to help you with where where to purchase that, 
uh, but I just, I'm just going to stamp a little uh, Christmas tree on here with, um, with some uh, olive green stays on ink. And, uh, and then let that just be a simple little tag. Now you could use just regular hang tags and then layer on top of those. Um, but I just like the torn edges. And so most of the time lately, that's what I do on my hang tags. I just feel like it gives it more of a primitive look. And then this little ornament is going to need a uh, hanger. So all I do is turn it over to the back and take a little piece of string and tie a knot in each side and glue that uh, to the middle of the back. And that will be just a simple little hanger. And while we're working with candy canes here, I'm just gonna do another ornament and just go ahead and add another one to this one. Uh, but this one will have a completely different look. So again, I need two candy canes, and then I'm just going to wrap those just like I did these in the uh, Warm and Natural fabric. But I'm, <clears throat> I'm not going to be turning these into candy canes. I'm just going to, or I'm not going to be keeping them candy canes. Uh, I'm just going to glue them together in the shape of a heart, and that's going to glue really well because uh, of it being fabric to fabric. So uh, now we have the shape of a heart, and uh, now we can add to that. And then I cut a piece of lace, uh, a little bit larger than my heart, and, and I'm hot gluing the heart uh, onto the lace. And I get questions all the time about my... Uh, the fact that I touched my glue so quickly, but I always use a low temp glue gun. Uh, actually, this glue gun, I have several, but this one I've had for years and years and it, it really shows. Uh, but these little $5 glue guns to me just last a really long time. I think they're real good value and I would much rather have them as to have a more expensive glue gun. Uh, but you definitely need a low temp glue gun with this. Uh, so I just glued that to the back and then trimmed it uh, the size of the heart. And as you can see, this makes a very, very simple heart. Uh, and you could use a solid color fabric uh, behind it, but I just really like the shabby look of the lace. And then I just tied some strips of uh, fabric that I've torn and uh, just tied them right in the center and made a little shabby, simple, shabby bow. And then I just glue a little, um, a little vintage button in the center. And then all this one will need is a little hang tag and a hanger. Again, at this point, you could add all you want to this, but I'm just going to keep it a simple heart. Uh, this would also be a, a, a good uh, craft to do for uh, Valentine's Day. So... Uh, if you're one of those people who do a tree for all of the seasons or holidays, I'm not. Uh, but um, I think this would be a really neat little Valentine uh, ornament. And then I've just taken a little strip of fabric and tied a knot in each end and glued that right to the front of this ornament. And now all it needs is the hang tag. And for this hang tag, I just uh, stamped a uh, some Christmas uh, script on there and um, I'm layering that onto cardboard but first I'm putting a little bit of lace behind it just to give this more of a uh, soft frilly look and then uh, then I'll just hang that to the front of this and this little ornament will be done also and like I said these two have a completely different look from each other but both are made with just a couple of plastic candy canes. And like I said, I ordered mine from Walmart, but I used to get them from the Dollar Tree all the time. I just, last year I didn't see them in at all. So uh, I just ordered these from Walmart. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening 
and God bless you and your family.